The following is a men's War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games begin! Introducing first, representing the Blood Brothers from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds. Guys, perhaps no bigger challenge in WWE than what he's about to face. More than just the harsh confines of war games on his mind. And this superstar appears surprisingly calm, particularly when you know that in a matter of minutes, he'll be outnumbered. And also, who knows what the next member of the opposing team will bring into this ring. He needs to be able to use every inch of both rings, keep the distance, negate the numbers advantage, but we all know that's easier said than done. We are about to see something good. And representing the Ministry of Darkness from California, weighing in at 285 pounds, Brody King. Hey guys, you really that we're mere moments away from waging war. Guys, a tough spot to be in starting war games, but soon we'll have the numbers on his side. You're right, Cole. It's up to him to utilize the advantage, direct his team, and be ruthless. Yeah, but it's really critical. He needs to stay alert and stay active. And if he gets injured or knocked out, the numbers advantage is meaningless. He is in perhaps the best shape of his career, and he will need that with the competition level this high. War Games, famously the brainchild of the great Dusty Rhodes. You have to wonder if these superstars are looking at Lara's legacy in this match. If you mean his legacy of punishment, then absolutely. Oh, a cross jacket submission. Stunning this play of power. Oh, this isn't going to win. Try not to fade. The word was a harsh elbow. He gets manhandled over into the opposite ring. Setting him up for the slap oh, man, face first. Oh, my Lord, what is he? Oh, gross. How barbaric. All right, that's it. Uh, just raining down punches. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Here they 
they come, looking to give their team the upper hand as soon as possible. Rocked with the point of the elbow. Lifting them up. Relative ease. Followed up with a skin punch. Climbing into the ring, pretty much entering a war zone. Oh, what a close line. Golly, utilizing his power and tossing him across the rings. It's a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. That's not right. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Strength and now just pressing. And a drop. Looks like the nerves have settled a bit. Now these teams can keep their eyes on the long game. Absolutely. This is where entrance order becomes incredibly important, especially during the stretches of a numbers disadvantage. Here comes the buzzer. The numbers advantage vanishes with this next entrant. To the arm. He's showing them what superiority really looks like. Freed from the cage and now needs to make haste to even up the fight. Not wasting any time getting through the door and the teams are evened up. Uh-oh. Oh my God, what a move. Nice scoop slam. What a clothesline. Devastating kick.
foot just stomping down. The crowd is counting it down. Next entry will tip the scales in their team's favor. German suplex. But that's not all. Into a real card lariat. What a combination. Cage opens, and the strategy now has to be to take charge. Play the numbers game to your advantage. Oh, no. Now possibly set it up for a submission maneuver. This won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of. I can't win. Searching out the ring now. This can't be good.
finishing point. And the assault in that area continues. Sustaining the attack above the neck region. the same people they went in as, but they will leave victorious. And depending on whom you ask, that is all that matters.